Hi, Ivy. How are you? Hi, Dr. Katie. I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, I hear that you're having some sore feet. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of pain. Um, I started walking on the treadmill with an incline at the gym. Okay. And I just feel like the like the inside part of my soul okay. is has been like sore and it kind of hurts sometimes. Okay, so pain on the arch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so when did you notice this? Just when you started? Yeah. When you started working out? All right. So yeah, it's been like a couple of weeks. Sure. Is there a particular time of day that this hurts? Does it hurt more around the workout or are you noticing it when you wake up in the morning when you go to sleep at night? So it, it does intensify around the workout, but okay. um, also in the morning it just feels like they're kind of stiff, like those first few steps mm -hmm. I take, it just feels like it's like super tense. Yeah, that would be consistent with an injury. Um, I am curious about your shoe size and how your shoes are fitting you. Um, so I'm like a seven and a half. And okay. Yeah, I think they're fine. I've been fitted for running shoes. Sure. So. Mm -hmm. And have you had problems with these shoes before? Are they new? Um, they are relatively new, but I okay. have used them before and I had not had those problems. Okay, so it probably is contributing to the treadmill. I'm going to measure your feet and make sure that you are the correct size because a okay. lot of times that can be an underlying problem. Um, so right now on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your pain? Um, maybe when, like when I'm working out, that's probably like a five or six. Okay. But like just throughout the day, it's usually not that bad. Maybe like a two or three. Okay. All right. Um, have you given it a break from working out? Um, no, I did not. Okay. Well, before I even do the exam, I'm going to probably let you know that I'm going to end up advising you to give it a break because a lot of times when we have a, a nagging pain that maybe is at a one or a two and we continue to push through it, it can get worse very quickly. Okay. Okay. So um, and have you noticed any exterior pain? I know that you said it's an inward pain. Mm -hmm. um, what about any issues with the skin or itchiness? Mm. Any redness? Not especially. Okay. Swelling? Maybe swelling. I have. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I've paid much attention. To sure. It. I'll be doing some measurements for edema. Um, and it, did you say it was throbbing or? Um, yeah, I would describe more, it as okay. throbbing. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and examine that. But according to your chart, it's been a year since you've come to see me for a checkup. So I am going to check your vitals just to make sure that everything's going well internally and then we'll proceed to looking at your gait and your feet okay okay also i'll be doing some reflexology today and that is corresponding pressure points on your feet that um, actually can help keep your organs healthy and circulated it's kind of a new science but i very much believe in it so hopefully you'll enjoy that and get some benefit from it yeah for sure okay Go ahead and start with your blood pressure. Okay, may I use this arm? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just relax. Keep your, yes, your feet are uncrossed. Okay, that's 110 over 75, so that's excellent. Your workouts must be helping because it looks like that's lower than last time. So that's great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm.
97.8. Okay. And listen to your heart and your lungs. Okay, so for now, just breathe normally for me. One S2, no S3. I'm going to listen to the bell for murmurs. Okay. Okay, great. So I'm going to listen to your lungs. Could you take a deep breath in for me and release? Very good. All right, and again. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and go to your back and listen from there, okay? So go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay, very good. One more time. Excellent. Okay. Take a look at your eyes and ears. So if you could just look straight ahead for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna see a light. Okay. Pupils are round and reactive. Don't see any irritation. Any changes in vision? No, not really. Okay. Okay, you can look straight ahead for me. Excellent. Excuse me. Looking inside your ears, so look straight ahead for me again. Okay. You got some wax build up, but otherwise undamaged tympanic membrane. No issues there. Excellent. Okay, so when I do the exam on your feet, I'm going to be doing some neurological tests just to judge your sensation to different pressure points. Just to get a baseline, I'm gonna do this on your face first because I know that your face is completely uncompromised. So okay. this is gonna be a sharp and dull test. Okay, so if you could close your eyes. Do you feel this sensation? Yes. Would you say it's sharp or dull? Dull. Good, and then this will be sharp. Do you feel that? Yeah. Excellent, so just say whichever one you feel. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Very good. Okay, everything looks good so far. I'm going to have you get up and just take a few steps and do some walks for me so I can look at the way that you're holding your feet and your posture. Okay. Okay. Okay, if you could just take a few steps toward me. Okay, stop. Did you feel any pain doing that? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, and then where would the pain be? Just point to it. So, mostly right like there. this part. Okay, mm -hmm. so just walking. Um, seems to be irritating it. Yeah. If you could turn around and walk away. Okay, your hip alignment doesn't look too bad actually. So, let me see here. Um, I want you to go ahead and face me. Can you pick up your left foot with your right hand? Mm, yes, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm seeing a parallel stance here, which is very good. I'm just looking for signs of flat feet or... All right, could you do it with the opposite foot? Okay. Okay, I'm just palpating the muscle here. Okay, you can go ahead and relax. All right. Um, so if you could go ahead and just take your foot, bend it toward, bend it forward. Okay. Do you have any pain doing that? A little bit on the knee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go ahead. Go ahead and do it again. Yeah. Just going to be feeling here. Okay. It's like... It's like the bottom part of the mm -hmm. knee. Just examining just in your uh, natural skeletal structure that your knees are sitting a little bit low in your legs, which can sometimes present problems that can translate to the foot in the way that we carry, especially our Achilles heel and things like that. If you could move your, do the opposite. Very good. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of strain here and I'm noticing some muscle tension. So it's definitely something to be aware of. Um, go ahead and just stand straight. Uh, just like that. So, any pain here when I press on your ankles? No. Okay, any pain here? No. Okay, let's see the other foot. Okay, pain here? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Right there. Okay, so I'm seeing that the tendon here along the calf might be where the problem is stemming from as well. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be measuring and examining your feet for edema and looking for any kind of protrusions or anything that might point to what's going on. Okay. So if you could sit down on the bed, I'll be doing all that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so just to relax, I'm going to do an initial inspection of the feet. Just looking at your skin for any signs of redness or flex. Inflammation and signs of eczema. I'm looking for any dryness or flakes. Okay, I don't see any signs of eczema. I see a little bit of redness along here in the back of the heel, which tells me that perhaps you are wearing a oh, shoe size that's too small. look moist. I don't see any initial damage. Okay. Just looking at the toes. Alright, I am seeing a bit of redness here. Right on the toe line. Which indicates that perhaps your toes are jamming against the edge of your shoe as you run. Which can really cause damage. I don't see any blisters, but I see the start of blisters. So, if you were to engaging in really intense aerobic exercise that could develop into blisters so we want to prevent that other than that the feet look healthy just taking a initial inspection for symmetry okay I don't feel any edema okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look at this foot I 
see a little bit of dryness on this side. Okay. Oh, so you said no itchiness at all? see a raised bump here. I'm going to go ahead and measure it, but I think that that's just a birthmark. I think it's a scar. A scar? I had an accident on a bicycle. Okay. It looks like it's healed nicely, though. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take some measurements and record just to make sure that there is no swelling here that I'm not seeing. It's seeing anything alarming. Okay. Just gonna do a few more measurements. Okay, that's five. Okay, that's five. So some light swelling on this foot. In the normal range, so I don't see. Okay, I don't see any problems with that. I'm gonna gently just palpate the feet, okay? Just making sure that I'm not noticing any signs. Okay, and let me know if you feel any intense pain. this toe back and forth. Any pain there? No. Okay. Pain here? No. Okay. Pain. something topical that's going to really help relax the musculature and that will also keep in the dry areas moist. Okay. Okay, so so I just like to gauge your the strength of your feet. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and try to um, Turn your toes towards yourself, turn your feet. Okay, good, resist my push, good. 
I'll try to push the opposite way. Good. Okay. I want you to try to lift your feet, your legs. Don't let me do that. Or, or I'll try to stop you. Good. Okay. Now can you raise them up? Okay. Good. Now try to lower them. Press as hard as you can. Hard, hard, hard. Okay. Good. Was that difficult for you? Um, not really. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and have you flip over and I'm going to uh, engage your muscle mobility with your knees and also just look at the bottom of the feet, okay? So I'm going to be doing some simple rotations just to gauge your mobility. Let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Yep. Just give me the weight of your knees. Good. Okay. Just relax. I don't hear any cracking, which means that your joints are healthy. Okay. No signs of osteopenia. I'm going to go ahead and bend this knee as well. So just relax. Any pain there? Um, I felt it a little bit on my lower hip. Okay. Like the lower back. Okay. Okay. And before I start the treatment, I'm going to go ahead and try to crack some of your toes just to relax them and simulate blood flow, okay? massaging the bottom of the feet with a topical ointment. It's going to feel relaxing. skin barrier to provide moisture and also provide circulation. It has menthol and lavender qualities.
loosen up the tendons here without causing too much strain. I think you're going to have some redness in the coming days on the bottom of your feet, but that's just a sign that the treatment's working. You shouldn't feel any sharp pain. do some reflexology pressure point therapy okay so I'm going to just be really honing in on certain parts of the feet which correlate with different organs of your body to help really simulate the proper oxygenation flowing through those organs and to get um, any stagnation that you might be experiencing internally to be not that way so I'm going to Start with the thoracic spine and the heart of the feet. And this is where you're having most of your pain, so I'm going to go very gently. Do you have any issues in your upper spine? No. No? Okay. Your large toe relates to the pineal gland. So I'm just applying some pressure there. center of your feet corresponds to the small intestine. So I'm just going to be gently rubbing that area and applying some pressure. sciatic nerve released to the heel. So I'm gently bringing down the 
pressure point from the very center, which connects to the curvature of the spine. Okay. Very good. Okay, excellent. And then right here along the outer edges, that is going to really affect your diaphragm and your breathing. Okay, so I'm just going to be applying some pressure there. Okay, and right here, beneath each of the small toes in this little section here, corresponds to your ascending and descending colon. So just making some light pressure points here to affect the colon health. This will simulate bowel movement and prevent any cramps, blockages, menstrual cramps related to the colon. So, so lastly, I'm just going to test your sensations of your feet, okay? Do you feel the sensation? Do you feel this here? Yes. That's going to be a dull sensation, okay? This will be sharp. Let me know which one you feel, okay? Okay. Just do your very best. I didn't feel anything. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. be a warm sensation and this will be cold. Okay, okay so say warm or cold. Warm. Okay, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and end this assessment. I'm going to have you set up and we're going to discuss the results, okay? Okay. So, Ivy, um, I've completed your test. 
Uh, the good sign is that I didn't find any kind of swelling or any kind of damage to the feet that would be irreversible. Okay. Um, I did do some measurements and I am convinced that you are a size eight. Okay. So I think you're trying to cram your feet into a too small of a shoe size. Okay. Um, so I can go ahead and uh, give you some recommendations of shoe brands that I like. Okay. I'm gonna send you with a post-it note with a few of those. Um, and I wanna get some x-rays just to make sure that your bone structure is where it needs to be. I'm not too concerned. Um, I hope that the reflexology treatment and the massage helps the healing process, but it's not gonna do anything if you don't rest. Okay. So you're gonna have to take two weeks off at least of exercise and limit walking and just use this time to meditate, Read a book. You know, <laughs> do some things okay. that don't involve movement. It's the perfect weather for it, so um, that's about it. Okay. I'd like to see I'll you. Too. Yeah, I'd like to see you in a few weeks, um, just for a follow-up, if you would like, if, you, if the therapy benefits you. Yeah, for if, sure. If not, it, it was amazing. Yeah, don't, no worries, but, uh, so I'm gonna give you a call and see how you're doing in a few days, look over your x-rays, and we'll go from there, okay? Okay, great, All thank right. you so Thank much, you, Dr. be well.